Hello, I'm Princess Serena, not Princess Serena, and today I'm going to show you my pins that spin, that open, all my pins that move, except for my dangle pins because then this video would be a little lengthy. And speaking of length, I kind of wish my hair was a little longer so I could cover the zero here so we could pretend this is a 2021 shirt. But I love this shirt, it's so cute, so I wanted to show it off anyway. So without further ado, let's get into it. This pin signifies the 10 year anniversary of pin trading because it started in 2000, so it came out in 2010. And then we have four of the five Fab Five characters spinning with either pins in their hand or a pin lanyard like Goofy and Pluto over here. And I just love pins that know their pins. This one kind of reminds me of my pin trading scrapbook I made with all my pin notes and stickers that I get in my pin mail because it says pin trading tales and then it opens to every pin tells a story which is so true. I could look at any of my pins and remember if I traded for it, bought it, got it at a pin show, got it online, got it at Disney or whatever the case may be. We have Dory here and Nemo and the jellyfish and then one of the jellyfish coming out here and then if you wanted to I do it like this and then you just close it or you could have it open like before every Disney pin collector needs one pin from each part and then the clap removes like this when I saw someone had this for trade I knew I had to get it because my first couple trips to Disneyland I was very into getting all of the autographs from all the characters and then it opens to all the autographs. Keeping up the theme of Parks pins, I got this one on my most recent trip last year. What in the world will we do today? And then you could change what it says with the dial over here. I also like to have one from each year I've been. So I went in 2020 and then all the characters spin. And I love all the fireworks in the background, which you can completely cover up, or you can see. I have a very tiny Hanukkah collection. In fact, two of the three of my Hanukkah pins are in this video. I think this one is so cute. I usually don't love years that don't signify anything about me going to Disney, but it's little so I can forgive it. And it's so cute. So look, they just want a bunch of gelt playing with the dreidels. And then you flip it and it cuts to their Uncle Donald being super mad that he lost and he didn't win anything. Here's my other one, definitely my favorite. It has no year and it's so cute for my little mini Mickey collection. I made a video on that. If you want to check it out, I'll link it above and below. And then the dreidel moves. Mini and Mickey cell phone pins. And then they open up like flip phones. Then I have a Troy one as well. I didn't know this one moved until I got it. The tassel moves. You can move it however you want. And then it's a limited edition 2000. If you want to see more of my High School Musical pins, I recently did a Disney Channel collection video. And I love this one. It's like a little yearbook and it's a limited edition 1000. Speaking of Disney Channel, I definitely have a huge collection and a number of them move. They started releasing a couple Kim Possible pins last year. It's probably because of the new movie, which wasn't the best, but it's okay. It gave us more Kim Possible merch. Hannah Montana the movie, and then it's like the DVD case because it opens up to the Disney DVD logo and then it moves. I have a lot of Pixar pins, many of which I haven't shown on this channel yet, including my Monsters Inc. collection. So this one moves like this. It's swinging back and forth. This one's a Loungefly pin. One of my first, if not my first, Loungefly pin, and it's Boo's door, and then it opens to Mike and Sully. Another Loungefly pin, which did not make it into my Wally -E collection video because I got it since then. And Eve actually moves, and I didn't know that till I got it. They could start at the bottom, and you could push it like she's flying all the way to Wally. -E. These two pins are part of a four pin LE500 pin set. I absolutely love these pins and I have the boot one already which doesn't move and then the fourth one I recently bought so that's on the way with Mo. 
And I just never see pins with Wally holding the boot. Usually it's Eve, which because she usually does for most of the film, but Wally has it and he saves the day. So I really love this set. Speaking of Wally and the boot, Wally comes and gives Eve the boot in her hand. And it's very appropriate that this is an LE 1200 because it signifies December 12, 2012. This is an LE 3000 and I'm very excited for the Valentine's Day pins that are coming out because there's usually always Wally pins because it's the perfect movie for Valentine's Day. And there's not too many Wally pins out in the world. We got my favorite Wally pin, which looks very plain, but when you open it, you got the Luxo ball. Look how pure. Look at his eyes. I didn't realize how many of my Wally pins actually move. And this one is an LE2000. And I love the element with auto, like in the middle. It really looks like what it does in the movie. It really comes alive. If you're wondering how this segues from the Wally, well, it opens up to a ticket of Inside Out. And you actually had to have gone to the premiere of Inside Out at the El Capitan Theater when it premiered in 2015, and it's an LE 750. As we've learned from the movie itself, we don't always feel happiness, and that's okay. You can turn the dial and feel angry, or fear, or sadness, or disgust, and then it's literally in Riley's head. This one, you can move like this. But that's not the only way it moves because Slinky Dog actually acts as a separate pin. And I actually do display it separately because I think it's such a cute pin on its own. I saved two of my favorite moving pins for last. So this one has a lot of Pixar characters. And then you could spin it around. And then you could also choose where the Luxo ball goes depending on how you put it on. You could turn the ball once it's off the cork board and once it's in, it's stuck in and then you could place the characters however you want. And it's a Shanghai release. Last but definitely not least, the Pixar I Collect. When this series came out, I was really hoping they would come out with something that I collected because it is so cool. It acts like a pin bag. This is actually a string and it's an LE2000. And then when you open it, you see pins that actually exist. Like I have that Coco pin with the skull. And I love how simple the pins are that they chose. Like most of them aren't people. I mean, technically none of them are people, but I mean like none of them are like characters. Like they're all representations of the movie, except for the little green alien. But like with all the rage of him this year, of course, I mean last year already. This one's not a Disney pin and it moves really fast. And I love this one because it's like in Mario Kart, you're not sure what you're gonna get when you go into the question mark. And you definitely don't want the banana because that one's lame. You want the star, you wanna push everyone, you want the turtle, you wanna knock someone out of first, you know? That's it for all my interactive pins. I hope you enjoyed and I would love to know your favorite pin I showed today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more pin content from me. And as always, take care of yourselves and have a magical day. Bye. Here's an overview of all the pins I showed.